Good morning, friends. Today, this demonstration will be of a sailboat in a small harbor. I am using white pastel mat for this demonstration, and it's a 10 by 14 size. I am using some very light pastel colors to create the foggy background. I need to build up some layers of color before blending to create a soft, smooth effect. The pastel matte paper is very smooth, but it does hold a lot of layers of pastel colors, and it doesn't create a lot of dust. I do find that I have to use my sponge applicators for blending rather than using my fingers, but the pastels seems to hold well into the paper without any dust uh, residue. I do like to experiment with different pastel papers. Typically, I use UART sanded paper for many of my projects, and I often will use an alcohol wash on UART sanded paper, but I don't believe it's necessary to even use an alcohol wash on pastel mat because it holds the layers of color so well. So at this point, I've been trying to lay a foundation of color so that I will be able to build more color on top of it. This base layer or foundation is very important. The application of this base layer is still rather light, which means it hasn't filled in the tooth of the paper. We want to build our layers gradually and I'm using actually a um, medium hard pastel for these first fundamental layers. I'm going to add a little more texture to the water. It appears to be a calm morning in the harbor and I would like to focus more on the sailboats and derive some of the details needed to create the shapes and straight lines and angles uh, in the boats. I added some light blue to the surface of the water to create some light highlights to the water. For the next few minutes, I'm going to use my pastel pencils to draw the shapes and details of the sailboats. So please follow along as I render the sailboats in the foreground.
I will be using some light gray pastel pencil to indicate some distant sailboats in the background harbor. This area is rather foggy, so I'll be using very light shades to uh, capture that foggy, misty appearance. I won't apply much detail to the background area. I want to apply just enough to suggest the boats in the distant harbor. Now that I have a good base for all the objects in my painting, I think I would like to add some more color to the distant background sky. I need a little more saturation of color and I'd like to add a light uh, orange to the skyline to give a little glow of the morning light. I will add some of this glow to the foreground water. I'm going to add some of the dark shadows being cast by the side of the boat. And I want to create some shadows in the water that is being cast from the mast of the sailboat. I'm going to use a medium shade of gray to bring out the distant ships in the background of the harbor. I'd like to add a little more highlights to the foreground water. This adds a nice shimmer to the water and indicates a little bit of a texture and flow of the water. Now that the foreground water is nearly complete, I'm going to focus on the smaller details uh, to the background boats and details on the foreground sailboat. I'm going to add some light blue to the background skyline. I think this will help bring some balance and harmony to the entire painting. I'm going to add some heavier shading to the foreground sailboat. 
I also want to darken the mast and the tie downs to the sailboat. There are several lines that connect to the mast of the sailboats. So I, I'm going to define them in the foreground. And then I will also w use my light gray to define some of the distant lines coming off the mast of the distant sailboats. These fine details will complete this pastel painting. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of painting a sailboat in the harbor with soft pastels. I hope you will join me for future lessons and demonstrations of how to use pastels. Press the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and press the bell icon to receive notifications of all my new releases. Thank you.